Uh, I'm a big believer in, in the fact that the African American community has, has a long tradition of, of contributing to this country. And I think through engineering, we're going to continue to do it. On the other hand, there aren't enough African American engineers. There are a lot more young people who have the talent and the interest. They might not know it, but they have that interest in being an engineer than we're producing now. And so uh, I came from the National Science Foundation to Hampton with the hope that working with the other HBCU engineering deans, we could make a difference in the number, but also the quality so that we can make a stronger country. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity for them to really get a hands-on experience and to, to see science at the real level, at its real level, and also to give uh, uh, youngsters the opportunity to, to work with scientific equipment that's not available in their high school. Uh, most high schools, their science budget is $1,000. Atomic force microscope costs $150,000 or a scanning electron microscope was over $100,000. So clearly these, these uh, individuals wouldn't have an opportunity to do these kinds of things in high school or elementary school. And I sort of wanted to prove to the scientific community that uh, you could take this technology down to the, to the lowest levels and, and people can understand it and, and really learn a lot about it and produce the future generation of, of scientists and engineers. The low numbers of engineers from the black community did not give young people an opportunity to even know about the field. And so for them to appreciate and understand why they needed to do the STEM disciplines or why they needed to do science, mathematics, uh, what was the end point to that? If they knew nothing of these application areas like engineering, physics, and so forth, and so what we had to do is make them more aware of what could be done with these kinds of foundation courses. And so the Urban Systemic Initiative, which brought to the urban environment exposure to young people who could not see those role models because the role models were not there, not because they couldn't have been, but because we had been excluded from these fields in previous generations. The education is so important because nobody can take that away from you and it's power when they say knowledge is power it's absolutely true because you stand on what you know and once you know it nobody can take that foundation away from you and so many doors just open you just be amazed at the doors that open because you know what you know you get to travel you can do anything that you want to do. You get to pursue advanced degrees. and It's just, it's been wonderful. Well, the Navy has come a long way as far as diversity. Currently, we have three uh, submarine admirals that are African-American. Um, we currently have three submarine COs that are African-American. And that's just in my community where we're seeing the, uh, the diversity. If you believe, if you see a black man's an engineer, then you believe you can be a engineer. So if we can show those role models, it makes the absolute sense that other young people will dream that they can do that. But if you never see that, then your assumption is you can never be that. We think it's so important to highlight the outstanding talent that exists in the engineering field. Some of that talent comes from your company too. Absolutely. We're really proud of the minority engineers that we have in our company and expect to continue to grow those numbers. And this is one of the events that helps us to attract and retain the best minority talent. I have a saying, you can't do technology in America without black folks. And that's because not only is the number of African American scientists and engineers large, larger than, than you might suppose, it's also because they're right in the center dot center in the talent pool, in the biggest corporations in the world, in Boeing, in IBM, in Lockheed Martin, in Xerox, in General Motors, in Ford, in Daimler Chrysler. And the products that they design and the products that they produce for you are shaking up the entire world.
must develop the next generation scientists, engineers, and innovators. We must do what others have done for us. We must show them the art of the possible. These things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste.